Welcome to Health Mastermind Series 6. The Health Mastermind is a forum for health coaches who are intensely passionate about our work and we want to bring insights into many aspects of lifestyle and health to the world at large. This is the sixth in our series which will meet our goals. If you are inspired by what we do, write in. We get hugely encouraged by your response and send us your query on daily health practices and we will take up the topics as suggested by you. We are three of us health coaches who discuss all the topics uh, that come our way. I want to introduce Aditi Sharma. She is a certified naturopath and an integrative nutrition health and wellness coach. And uh, she's passionate about healthcare and practices a 360 degree approach to make sustainable changes that improve her clients' health and happiness. She also wants to inspire people to become the healthiest version of themselves. Dr. Shweta Jadapali, she is an ophthalmologist and an MBBS. She is also an integrative nutrition and health coach, specializing in sleep, stress, recovery management. And she is so passionate about healthy eating and living and believes in the philosophy of food as medicine. And you are what you eat and you are also what you think. I'm Dr. Anita Madhok, integrative living coach and coaching psychologist. And I look at life from a self-healing point of view and enable my clients to live vibrant, healthy and happy lives. So let's get on with Health Mastermind 6. And the topic for today is have a healthy and happy Diwali. Now we all know that Diwali is a fantastic festival of light the light that banishes the darkness of a moonless night, the light of knowledge that dispels the darkness of ignorance, the light of goodness and righteousness that keeps evil and wrongdoing at bay, and so many other things that light does. What better day than this to renew ourselves in our journey on the path to healing, health, and positivity. Today, three of us health coaches are coming together to share and discuss some thoughts around how we have a how we can have a healthy and happy Diwali in the true spirit of joy and community. So we all know that Diwali is a very challenging time to stay healthy. All sorts of temptations come our way, sweets on the table, parties all around, and everybody is doing everything in their power to ruin your healthy lifestyle, which you have struggled to maintain so many months and so many years perhaps. And as a health coach, I find it always helps to set a strong and powerful intention to make good choices, to enjoy all aspects of Diwali and remain healthy at the same time. The power of our mind gets harnessed by this intention into positive action that heals you. Remember, there'll be many folks who will tell you that Diwali is the only time of the year to have some fun. They will throw things like YOLO, you live only once and resolutions that you make are meant to be broken and they will wave all the lovely sweets in your face. But a strong resolve serves as an inner anchor and helps you work with your inner being and supports your self-care. Once your right intentions are in place, the universe conspires to give you the strength to live and walk the path. This year, I coached myself to set a deep-seated intention for Diwali, which I remind myself in the morning each day. So this time, my intention for this Diwali is to support myself and to continue to give myself the gift of self-love and self-care every day. Of course, there are daily health goals for a reformed diabetic like me. And my resolve is also to keep my sugar levels under control and continue to be medicine free and also to work off any excess carbs I might have consumed during the festival. So Shweta, you are also a fellow health coach. Uh, did you do any intention setting for Diwali this year? And would you like to talk about it? Yeah, setting intentions have always worked really well for me. So this Diwali, I set my intention to spend more time with my loved ones and create more memories than putting on more, uh, loading the, up more calories, which will help, you know, light up my heart and help me pursue more of what I like to do. Wow. Wow. Aditi, what about you? 
Yeah, the festivals of flight is all around the corner and we certainly can't hide our excitement. The countdown to Diwali has begun and preparations are in full swing. Pre-Diwali parties and bashes often extend for almost a week. Hence, it's important to pay a close attention to your health and safety. The power of intention lies within your willingness to become intentional. When you are intentional, you become selective with your choices and action and align you with your goals, values and beliefs. Your words and thoughts have vibrations that impact your health and your energy. As a health coach, I always set my boundaries and be aware of my body clues. So on this Diwali, I will keep myself on a raw diet, which is equivalent to fasting. I mean, no grains. And I'll enjoy this Diwali with full of fruits, dry fruits, coconut water, vegetable juices, and also fermented drinks, which gives extra care to my gut. And it's a good way to detox, I would say. So with a little bit of planning beforehand, we can ensure healthy eating during the festive seasons. So to all the viewers of this video today, uh, just remember, it begins with setting the right intention. And I'd urge each one of you to set that intention because the spirit of Diwali is intact when you have the right intentions for yourself and for your health and for your own personal growth. People like to celebrate, buy new gifts, uh, gifting ideas, buy new clothes and so many activities. And Shweta, what according to you are some of the health pitfalls that might come our way and uh, how would we avoid them during Diwali time? And what kind of strategy would you build for yourself around it? Yeah, see, Indian festivals are incomplete without family gatherings, gifts, and most importantly, food all around, especially free, uh, sweets. So while food is important, uh, there are very high chances that people's health goals will go just go out of track. They continue to extend their festivities for a long time, and which obviously happens. So being more mindful of our choices and being more intentional helps us to enjoy the delicacies at the same time helps us to stay on track. So although there are many things, I would just like to focus on few particular pitfalls, especially most people make during Diwali. One, number one is uh, not bothering about the hydration. So maintaining hydration is the most important factor. And uh, that is how like most of the people, they start to binge on all the food that is available. Number two is not having adequate fiber in their diet. Fiber in the sense having a, you know, a good amount of fruits and vegetables. And most of the Diwali get-togethers or thalis miss this fiber. So uh, having more of fiber in the form of fruits and vegetables fill up our tummies, which leads to having a very little space to enjoy the other delicacies. And next thing is prioritizing protein. So protein is very important, you know, which will keep us full. And uh, so this is how we uh, try to decrease our cravings. These are the time of celebrations and feasting with your friends and families. While food is an integral part of festivals, there also comes the fear of gaining extra weight during this festival season. Moderation is the key while we eating your favorite delicacies during the festivals. During Diwali, parties and family gatherings are common, but you don't have to eat too much or go off your diet. So it's best to eat moderately by controlling your portion size. Take smaller portion on the plate and try to choose some healthy options like salads and soups first. Later on, you can add on your plate, depending on your hunger level. Use a variety of spices in your food. Like spices like cinnamon, cardamom, saffron, nutmeg can even liven up both savory and sweet foods. Spices have been shown to jack up a slow metabolism too. So indulge in them. Next, avoid packaged ready to eat foods, processed foods, as these are deprived of nutrients and loaded with empty calories. When your cells are deprived of nutrition, you would crave for more unhealthy foods. And the last one is avoid artificial sweetness and sugar freeze, as they do more damage to your blood glucose level and sugar free creates bloating and diarrhea. Instead, you can use natural sweeteners like jaggery, dates, raisins, dry figs to make your sweets. So unhealthy option is highly accessible, it's convenient, and it's engineered to taste good. It's heavily promoted and it's inexpensive, definitely. Well, according to me, Diwali is a time for love and togetherness with the family and friends. The mood is light and everybody wants to be nice with each other. And sometimes for me, it has become very socially awkward, especially vegan plant-based foodies. It's very awkward for us to remain on track. 
the biggest pitfall is to lose track of your intentions and go with the flow, mindlessly eating and drinking to make merry. Staying mindful in your choice and making the right choices is the biggest challenge. So please avoid this pitfall of losing track of your intentions. The second pitfall is binging on food and then going on a guilt trip. It's not so much the binge cheat, but the guilt trip that's the pitfall. Cheating is okay and nobody is perfect and everything should be done in moderation. But remember, it is progress, not perfection. And things improve a little at a time. So if this Diwali you're able to control and manage yourself and make the right choices a little bit better than the last time, just remember you are better off today than you were before. So it's not binging, but it's the going on the guilt trip that needs to be dealt with. Third pitfall, according to me, is not finding ways to pull back. We all go off track and it's human to be that way. During Diwali, lots of unhealthy things will happen which don't happen during the rest of the year. And if you, are, if you have a good health coach, your health coach will help you find ways to come back on track after Diwali is over. So we have spoken about the pitfalls so far. However, Diwali is about enjoyment and fun. What are you doing this Diwali? And how are you in advising your clients to have healthy and sustainable Diwali, Aditi? Well, uh, Diwali symbolizes positive and happy spirits. The aim is to make you healthy, wealthy and wise. It happens only when you won't compromise on sleep. I know there are other factors also, but we need to focus on the sleep because sleep is most compromised on these Diwali festivals and all that, like playing cards and doing partying and all of those things. So disturbing the biological clock adversely affects your digestion and your metabolism process. In turn, your health. I will focus on my sleep this time. And my advice to my client is to limit bursting crackers. Like Diwali is synonymous with lights and firecrackers. However, crackers leads to air and noise pollution. The chemical particles emitted through firecrackers cause respiratory problems and aggravate allergic conditions. Moreover, babies, animals, and elderly people are bothered by the noise of fireworks. Limit your use of firecrackers to ensure safety. This Diwali, let's be mindful of your choices and make it more sustainable celebration for ourselves as well as for the environment. Your health journey is yours. As a health coach, I cannot eat for my clients. I cannot exercise for my clients. And I cannot make the right choices for my clients because I'm not one of them. A good times are about laughing together, praying together, enjoying each other's company. And as I said before, the entire symbolism of Diwali is based upon the fact that we celebrate once more and tell all the mythological stories from the Ramayana of how good wins over evil. So let good health win over ill health and let us conquer our inner demons of cravings and bondages to do those things that do us damage. Share healthy food with others. Give fruits, nuts, and other healthy things instead of sugar-laden sweets and fried snacks as gifts. And there are many healthy options for sugar-free uh, sweets today. Every Hawaii on the street has got fig burfis and, uh, and date uh, burfis and use natural sources of, uh, of sugar. In fact, last Diwali, I was totally delighted to receive a gift of a pack of very select herbal teas, which was so innovative and created with care and completely subverted the need to give sugared and sweet uh, gifts to other people. So I would prefer to send such gifts to others instead of healthy, unhealthy stuff. And I would love to distribute health and not sickness. And that's what I would advise my clients too. Yes, uh, festivals are here for a reason, not for cherishing of relationships, to bring people together, and most importantly, to love and enjoy food together. So rather than worrying about what to eat, when to eat, and uh, especially during these times, I would advise my clients to just be more mindful of their food choices and to have everything in moderation and to bring in more healthy healing food, which feeds, feeds their soul, and finally to create more memories with their loved ones. So one message from me is to enjoy your day. And remember, one day festival doesn't affect your health. And it's all about sustainable and consistent habits which builds our health. That's absolutely wonderful. 
And my message as before we close is to rewrite your definition of fun, to include doing healthy things and stuff that you really believe in on your unique path to self-care and self-healing. I'm saying this because a lot of times people have a definition of fun, which is actually not so much fun in the long run. So that's my message to you. Aditi, yeah, what my message to my clients, yeah, set an example for your next generation kids by making sweets and snacks at home and involve them as well with your making and using wholesome ingredients like pure desi ghee, etu ghee, cold pressed oils, millet flour, whole wheat flour, and natural sugars to make it more nutritious and healthier. So to eat is a necessity, but eat, but to eat intelligently is an art. Wow, I think we have covered a lot of ground and there's plenty of motivation for whosoever views these videos of ours. Uh, this is Health Mastermind 6 and I'm very happy to wish everybody a happy and healthy Diwali. And uh, thank you to all of you for listening in and thank you to Shweta and thank you to Aditi uh, for being here today and presenting uh, our clients, our viewers with, uh, with lots of insights. Yeah, happy Diwali to you both and to everyone who is watching this. And uh, yes, see you soon. Happy Diwali, everyone. Have a safe and healthy Diwali this time.